Hey y'all, Irix guy here back again with uh, flight test number two with the Bionic Bird. It's already recharged. That's something I wanted to note that the that the little egg charger that you take out in the field, you can recharge it multiple times with it. And it only took me a few minutes. I didn't time it, but I think it was right around eight minutes. So now this thing's completely charged and I'm now more confident with my ability. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and get airborne here. So I'm going to, uh, if you saw my first flight test, you know that I that I had a problem pairing the bird, but maybe this time I won't. So I turn the bird on. You'll notice a little blue light beside the on-off switch, and then I'm launching the uh, the app, which it's already recognized it. That's great. So I don't I don't have the uh, uh, the first time learning issues that I had with my first flight test. What I'm going to do differently this time? I'm going to launch it from my hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to launch it from this hand, but then I'm going to switch the controller to my right hand. Before I launch it, there's this little arrow, and I don't know how well you can see it in this, but if you push it all the way to the top, it's going to make these these wings flap the strongest. So I'm going to make them flap as strong as I can. I'm going to try to get a decent throw, and then I'm going to change hands with my iPhone 6 Plus. So here we go. That's definitely my longest flight so far. But the hand the hand switch didn't work. So if you're if you're with your film crew or whatever, maybe it may be optimal to have a second person throw it for you. And that time I use a cruise control feature which would lock in the speed. But I think once I take off I need to have need to have slower speed. Well, that's doing good that time. Try the skin here. It's like it wants to keep going to the ground. Hey, that was a pretty long flight.
Now I think it needs more of a charge. That's the cool thing, just turn on your little egg. It's magnetized. And it makes a little noise when it's charging. I don't know if you can hear that. So this thing's definitely cool. It's gonna take some practice because let me see if I, this is flashing or what. Yeah, so it's hard to see, but it's strobing on and off when it's charging. So when it's fully charged, it'll let me know. But yeah, this is definitely cool. The, um, the biggest challenge is having a smartphone in one hand and then throwing it from the other because if you switch, like what I did, it wasn't high enough. So when I switched hands, I had to take my finger off of the off of the smartphone momentarily and then it would just plummet down to the earth. So what I'm gonna work on the next flight is trying to get a better, trying to get more elevation when I throw it with my, with my secondary hand, but maintain control the whole time with my primary hand with the app. And we'll see how that works. Check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order this online. Y'all have a good day.